hello friends so uh, today I'm going to show how to install Kaspersky network agent to the endpoints so uh, we need this Kaspersky network agent to uh, get a uh, communication the proper visibility the endpoints and also we need this network agent to install Kaspersky endpoint protector to the client uh, PCs so then after install this Kaspersky network agent we have a communication and visibility and we can install the endpoint so we use the task to install this uh, Kaspersky network agent to the endpoints for, for that we can use Kaspersky uh, console to create that task so I'm going to use a document to the explain this how to create these uh, tasks to install this network agent because I can share my console is a confidential thing so guys uh, don't skip this video after watch this video you can definitely create that task and you can do the uh, you can install this network agent to the, uh, agent to the endpoints the client side so guys uh, I'm going to show how to do it Kaspersky installation guide so first we need to uh, this is a console as you can see I'm going to zoom it so guys uh, you can see in uh, this left side corner the uh, field in uh, that highlighted part there's a task we have to create a task to install this network agent so after click, click that task bar then it will uh, from this one we have to create a new task then you have to click this new task button after that it will pop up this uh, select the task type then we have to select task type to install this net agent so this is the task type we have to select so under that Kaspersky security center administration server you have to select install application remotely this, this is the task we need to install net agent after uh, select this one uh, click uh, next after that it will uh, prompt this uh, window we have to this uh, default window deploy the Kaspersky security center 30.2 package this is the default one so you have to select this one then click uh, next after that we have to select the installation package so you have to select that uh, Kaspersky network agent installation package to install that net agent to the endpoints so this is the package after select that package you have to click next then after that it will appear these settings we have to set up these settings so to install this uh, network agent we have to be using this this is the tick one using operating system resources through administration server we are going to install this network agent through our administration server then install on all devices if it is already installed you can take this one if you need to install is again reinstall then you don't need to tick, untick you have to untick it if it is untick uh, then if it is not installed if it is already installed after setting this one uh, this is settings this uh, window you have to click next so guys uh, after that we have to select that uh, restarting system after res uh, install this network agent successfully you can restart this one or you, if you want to do not restart select then it won't restart you can also prompt use of action after select this third one this one it will prompt user this description you can change this description uh, area the, this one the application has been successfully installed on the device your system must be restarted to the complete installation you can change this description and under that part you can see repeat prompt every five minutes you can change this one every one minute two minutes three minutes like that 
after 30 minutes it will automatically restart if you tick this one restart after 30 minutes so after setting this uh, one we have to click next then if you want want to move this device to the another group you have to move, uh, select move unassigned device to this group because after connect to these uh, devices to the network then it will move to the unassigned group so unassigned group to we need to move to the another group this uh, device we have to select this move unassigned device to this group then after browse it will move to the another group from the unassigned devices if you select do not move devices it will stay the unassigned group then we have to manually drag and drop uh, move to that device to the another group so i'm going to select these uh, do not move devices after click next we have to select specific devices you if you select this one you can select groups if you select the second one you can select one by one devices so i'm going to select this second one after select the second one it will uh, appear this uh, select devices you can add devices manually or you can import if you want to import uh, multiple devices you have to give a text file you have to create a text file with multiple ips or multiple device names after importing it will insert it will upload it to the this add part it is uh, into the list list into this list i'm going to add the one device so for that i'm going to use this add button after click this add button you can type the device name or ip address so we can see this blue color uh, machine icon after add this one you have to click again next after that guys uh, you have to give a account to install this uh, net agent because we didn't install the network agent to this device because of that you can see account required network agent is not used if it is used to install that uh, endpoint protector we no need an account because we have network agent in this point we don't have a network agent because the, this is the first point uh, we are uh, going to install network agent because of that we need a admin account administration access uh, that account should have admin access to this uh, endpoints because it's uh, this account need can uh, will be able to access shared folder access this uh, client pc access so after uh, we need account then we have to add that account after click that add button add button it will prompt this one account we have to give account and password you have to give that in here you can see the domain your domain and the username and the and the password after uh, insert that uh, account it will save in here with the account name you can add multiple accounts if you want so after that get you have to go, uh, click next again then this the next window is scheduling you can uh, share these uh, tasks manually monthly weekly once immediately like that you can set up these tasks I'm going to set up these tasks manually. After finish these tasks, uh, we ha I have to run these tasks manually. So, if you need to run missed tasks, that means if this after get this uh, task, uh, if this PC not connect to the network, it will schedule. So, after connect this uh, device to the network, it will that task will run automatically because this we have take this run ta run missed tasks so you have to select these uh, options then next we have to give a task name you can give any name uh, i put the install application remotely 
uh, NetAgent and uh, install application remotely in the task section uh, finish the task creation so you have to if you tick this one the task will run automatically I'm not going to uh, tick this one after finish it under that install application remotely in task of uh, tasks dashboard you will you will be able to see that install application remotely net agent task that's this is the created task so uh, it is scheduled one because uh, we didn't start it, it it yet after it started it will run after complete it this uh, this uh, edge edge color uh, circle will uh, turn into the green if it is successfully completed if it is failed it will red color then you have to uh, uh, view the result why it is uh, failed it can be uh, because of the that account issue that account if it is that account cannot access to that device that can be a problem network issue so after complete this one uh, you it will uh, turn into the green so guys this is the uh, inside of this task you can double click this task and check this you can change the settings that task so in the general that is our application name and uh, task name schedule one device in uh, in notification bar you can see that uh, you can notify by email settings we have we have we can set up these one also and we say all events in uh, device part the selected devices so if you want add more devices you can add more devices using this button under this area add more buttons uh, in here you can see then uh, schedule you can schedule it uh, as I said earlier manually or once every n hours weekly like that in settings we have settings uh, set up this using through admission server install on all devices do not reinstall at least already installed these are settings the uh, the account we give that uh, admin account to install this network agent then uh, moving part do not move device if you want to move it you have to you select this move under device to this group then operating system restart we have set up this uh, do not restart the device then the created uh, time and date after starts this task after completed it you can see it's turned into the green color as i said earlier it's successfully completed you can view the result then right click this uh, in here administration server option uh, feature uh, that uh, uh, area then right click it then you can search the device the given name you can use the IP address or then you can see the install device so guys this is how to install Kaspersky network agent so I hope guys uh, have an idea to how to create these tasks if you guys have any question any problem please comment and uh, so guys thank you for watching this video please uh, subscribe my youtube channel please comment and share so guys thank you very much